Jyotsna Tirunagiri, who is the TDP spokesperson, joining us. In fact, TDP has been saying uh, loudly and, and in fact almost uh, in a most uh, upset uh, are the TDP netas who claim that this is just a political vendetta where uh, uh, likely uh, you see Jagan Mohan Reddy is threatened that he may lose at least 20 to 30 seats this assembly elections and this is his uh, way of showing vendetta. Uh, well, ma'am, if, if, if you could give us a sense of what this case is all about and why do you believe this uh, has really nothing to do with Chandra Babu Naidu, he's innocent, while you have a lot of uh, the agencies there, the CID, who has pulled out a lot of evidence, at least seemingly on the surface, to suggest that Chandra Babu Naidu is indeed involved in laundering nearly 372 crores. Um, at the outset, I would like to say that there is actually very clearly stated from the AAG itself saying that around 200 crores uh, in different phases, 200 crores have been siphoned off. They have been released from the state government's, uh, uh, this thing, treasury. The point here is, Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu Garu was the then chief minister and a decision was taken in the cabinet asking for a still skill development corporation to be established. A skill development corporation was established. And the finance clearance and all were taken. And at that particular point of time, Mr. Ajay Kalam Reddy was very instrumental also in that. He is the present advisor for the uh, YSRCP government also. And then there was a complete structure there. We had the chairperson there. We had the managing director there. We had the entire setup there. And also two committees were formed for the regular functioning and the monitoring of the entire project. Two committees. And none of the people from the committees, except Mr. Ganta Subra, only one person was inquired. None of them have been inquired. And Prem Chandra Reddy, who had the check releasing power then, and who was the then uh, managing director for Skill Development Corporation, was never investigated, was never inquired, nor was Ajay Kalam Reddy inquired. None. None of these people were inquired. Now, why we call it pol political vendetta and uh, it's a vindictive game by uh, YSRCP and specifically Mr. Vice Jagan Mohan Reddy? is that September 8th, the name of our Supremo is included in the FIR, September 8th. And September 9th, hundreds of policemen literally barge in to the place where Mr. Nairu was residing and he was conducting a tour. It was not like some, he was not running away anywhere and he is an NSG protectee. All his details are of movements are with the state police. Every every minute to minute movement of Sri Nairu ji is always given to the police and even on, the, uh, on that particular day also, all the details were with the police, but Friday night, midnight, uh, almost the drama started around 11.30 in the night, but you it continued till almost the next day morning. They say they don't have his name in the FIR because it was the old FIR that they were carrying. And they say we cannot give you the remand report where your name exists because we don't, we, we have, we could not carry all the 400 page remand report. The remand report is ready, but you are, you, uh, we cannot show it to you. And they did all sorts of high drama there, uh, almost uh, some hours wasted in there. And then finally, the next day, around 8.30, they produced the remand report to the Honorable Court. But even before that, all the ministers come out and say that Chandra Babu Naidu Garu is even, who has given them this information? And the, and the, and the paper that is run by YSRCP uh, uh, people, Sakshi paper, it very categorically says, even before the remand report is submitted to the court, it ca it, it uh, publishes an article saying that Chandra Babu Naidu ji is even na accused. Who, who is giving them all this information? It is very clear that it's a politically motivated case and politically driven case.